Hey beginner swing dancers, I'm here with Shaylee. Hey guys. Welcome to week four. We got a couple more things for us to do this week. More kicks, more Charleston. Let's show them what's happening. Let's do it. We're gonna start in our single swing basic, going side, side, back step. From here, we're gonna add in a little walking kick sequence. Where we're kind of twisting in and out, get out of it, and then we keep dancing. We're gonna get started in our single swing basic, going side, side, back step, and from here, we're gonna go into a little walking kick pattern. We call these the in and outs, and then we're gonna get back into single swing. Mm -hmm. Let's go over what's happening. This happens after we do our rock step. So where we would normally break apart and go into our other kick sequences, we're going to rock step and then start to twist in towards each other. In this situation, the leader is gonna kick on the outside, the is gonna kick between the leader's feet. I'm here with my left, Shayla's with her right. That's our first one. So after we go rock, step, and kick in, we kick our inside foot kind of away from each other, we kick again towards, away, one more time, towards, and then we go rock, step to finish it out. The whole sequence is a series of, of five kicks. You can do more if you'd like. It's a little bit harder to kind of sense as a follower if you're not sticking to that number. But I'd say start with five. Let's do that footwork one more time. So we're gonna go rock, step, kick in, kick out, kick in, kick out. Last one, and rock, step. Then we're ready to resume our basic like we normally would. Yep. Couple of things that we should go over is our arms in this situation. So this step really gets into what we call compression, where we're kind of giving each other a little push and a little pull away from each other. Uh, in those kick moments. The challenge is that pull in and out happens very quickly. So that on each kick, start with the rock step here, we're compressing in on that first one, then I'm pushing out so that we have a little tension. Compress and push, compress and push, compress and push. So that as we're flipping in towards each other, we should feel pressure in. And then as we're kind of flipping out away from each other, we should feel a little pull out away from each other in that hand. Okay, talking about the compression and the pulling in the kick sequence, after we do the back step, it's really important to really push your hips outwards away from your partner so that the pulling is a little bit more easy. And then same thing as you're going in, the pushing, the compressing is a little bit more easy. Right. Yeah. So something that that leads us into is we want to let our hips be the ones that are kind of twisting in and out, mm -hmm. upper bodies a little bit as well, but we don't want this arm to do all sorts of crazy madness. Right. They should stay pretty stable here so that as um, our lower bodies are shifting through space, our upper bodies are remaining mm -hmm. uh, planted. The next thing we're gonna do is just a little add-on to our normal kick sequence. Makes it a little fancier, it's a good ending motion. You can let go, have a little fun. So what that looks like, we're going to be dancing into our normal kick sequence. Outside, we go outside, inside, inside. And on that left inside, instead of kicking back, we're gonna just take that into a slide motion. So let's show that full speed here. So we'll go back, step, kick, kick, and slide. Back, step. So as I said, you can use that to end where you just slide and that's it. Or you can continue on into the back step, keep it rolling right after that. To get us into that slide motion, leaders, we really just have to kind of pull our followers back where we would normally be keeping ourselves in place for that second kick. So after we go back, step, outside, Inside, I'm gonna to start to send myself backwards and keep this arm with me so that Shaley feels me send us both back. And then from there we can rock step to get back into kicks. Or we can go slide again. Yes. Yeah. So for followers in that slide moment, make sure that you keep this left arm neutral and ready to feel if your leader is going to pull you or stay right there for the back step. Totally. Yeah. So let's actually flip around for a second. So what's happening um, as we're doing that slide, I really want Shaley to keep this arm stable and not just let our arms both go up because I'm giving us a lot of energy through that arm mm -hmm. and sending both of our body weight backwards. Yeah. So if she were to let that go, all would be lost. All would be so lost. Well, we just can't get any fine. <laughs> That's all we've got for you today. Stay tuned for our next videos. And if you like this video, go ahead and subscribe. And make sure you like, comment, and hit that bell button below to get notified every time we post.